Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to my channel. I do have a collective reading for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do want a more personal reading with me, lizzytarot1010 at gmail.com. And my readings are strictly first come first serve. You have to email me. I left my email down below. My readings are strictly through the phone. I left all my reading prices as well in the bottom bar. So don't forget to check that out. Um, but my $5 cash app questions um, is the same day. So the same day that you purchase it is the same day that you get your answer. So they're only $5, uh, one question, $5, and strictly cash app. Also, for my candle work, a lot of you guys have been messaging me. Um, I am working on my website right now, so bear with me, you guys. Um, just to make it a little bit more easier for you guys as well. Um, but I do love Open Road, Better Business, Taking Off Black Magic, Cleansing, all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested, please email me. So let's get into the reading because I'm just talking too much. So we did get the Death card and the Three of Pentacles. So this could be heavy Scorpio or you have Scorpio in your chart or you're dealing with a Scorpio. So I feel like honestly you're going through a transformation. Certain people that you used to like aren't who... Um, they used to kind of be your type. So if you used to like bad boys, you don't like bad boys anymore. If you used to like certain type of people in certain job um, careers, you don't like that anymore. You're changing what you like. You're changing. Uh, maybe if it's just physical, you're more of an emotional now, right? So I feel like you're letting go to start new beginnings, right? One, clo one door closes, another one opens. I feel like a lot of you guys have let go of people. Maybe you guys just broke up, especially with retrograde. Retrograde, it's a pro and a con. I feel like retrograde always shows us who we need to release, who's really rocking with you, who's really not. Especially with this eclipse, there was a lot of heavy energies of um, emotions, crying, feeling tired, feeling annoyed, feeling frustrated, right? And I feel like this was a time for you to cleanse, for you to purge. Maybe you cried a lot. Maybe there was a lot of family fights, a lot of kind of confrontation. You did this, you weren't here for me type of inner child thing. I feel like you kind of already went through that. Um, I feel like you're healing overall. So I feel like now the person that you were kind of next to or the person that you were dealing with, you don't want to deal with them anymore, right? I feel like you're going to be having a lot of options when it comes to love, especially money. But... I feel like, honestly, you're working on appreciation when people are appreciating you. You're being there for them. Are they appreciative of me? Are they valuing my time, my effort, my energy, me as a person, even giving a fuck, right? That's the energy that I'm getting. All your hard work that you're working towards, keep on going, it's going to, you know, pay off. Rewards are coming, so, like, just hold, <laughs> just pause, just be patient, is what I'm hearing. If money was tight, if money was funny, or if money was good, it's going to keep on getting good. It's just going to be keep on flowing through. I feel like, honestly, someone was... I feel like someone went to go get their cards read, honestly. Or you've been wanting to get your cards read. But I feel like this other person went to go get their cards read. Like, oh, why is this person acting funny? Why is this person la la la, whatever, right? And they told them, they're working on bigger, better things. They're working on their money. They're working on their career. They're working on their happiness within... Uh, that no one can give you, no one can give them because happiness comes within, right? So I feel like honestly, they're mad that you're working towards your goals. They're mad that you're working towards your money um, without them. Honestly, I'm hearing I, you left this person, you left this person like in the cold, you ghosted them, like you're done, right? But this person's giving me heavy page energy, like heavy page energy, and I feel like, honestly, you were neglecting your intuition. Maybe they knew that you were very intu intuitive, very sensitive. You would have a lot of dreams. Um, you wanted to see the good in this person, but there was only bad, you know. Um, they didn't want good intentions with you. They always had someone in the middle. They always had third-party um, situations, right? But I feel like, honestly, they're holding on to you. They want to hold on to you. They want to hold on to your financial. They want to keep the good away from you. I'm hearing they want to make you miserable. They want to make you unhappy with love, with money. They want to block all your roads is what I'm hearing, right? If you've been thinking a lot about the past, a lot of memories, um, that's a big sign, especially with retrograde. Maybe you want to reach out to them. Do not reach out to them. I feel like they do want to communicate. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, but this person is doing that to you. This person's like 
wishing bad upon you so why would you want to talk to them again right but i feel like options are going to be getting getting really really good um keep in mind you're going to be meeting people that are good and bad you are going to have a lot of options when it comes to love money is going to be getting good money is going to be getting better you're going to have options in that area as well um but i feel like motivation is a big factor when it comes to money right so back to this um your options in love so I feel like you could be meeting a Sagittarius, a Pisces, a Taurus, um, a Libra, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, an Aries, um, heavy fire signs as well. But I feel like you and this person are going to meet and it's going to be such passion, such chemistry. You've never met someone like this. This person's going to be like your drug. Keep in mind, the universe is going to be testing you as well. Did you learn your lesson with the ex person? Did you learn this? Did you learn that? I feel like a lot of you guys are in your queen of swords energy, um, heavy Libra, Gemini and Aquarius energy where you know what you want. You know what you don't want. Um, you're not here to play no games. You got the bag. You look good. You smell good. I feel like a lot of people see you as very uptight, bitter, vain, conceited. Um, I feel like a lot of people are kind of shocked that you're very funny and bubbly and not so serious and like people can get along with you even though you're good looking is what i'm getting right so i feel like honestly right now you're being very stern if you're not giving me this peace if you're not giving me that you're like you're like tiptoeing i don't like this i don't like this i don't like that if you can't handle it then you know where the door's at type of energy right so i feel like some people can feel like damn like who does this person think they are right but i feel like people don't know what you've been through they don't know your heartbreaks your your suffering the things that people have done to you so keep in mind when it comes to stuff like that heal that you know heal that 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 fear that you have of falling in love again or you know, being vulnerable or being a hopeless romantic so you can, you know, call in new love because you can block your own new love as well, your finances, all that stuff because you're thinking negatively, right? So I feel like honestly, you're going to be making, meeting good suitors and bad suitors. Um, your intuition will let you know as well. Your family will tell, will tell you as well. Maybe your sister or your brother or someone very close to you is very intuitive or you're very intuitive yourself. Um, and you guys are going to be talking about this. You and this person are going to be meeting. This is going to lead to marriage, long-term relationship. You know, enjoy your single life because the next person could be your last person, right? This could be, damn, this is the last relationship that I'm actually going to be single. Um, I'm not wasting my time. I'm ready for marriage. I'm ready for kids. I'm ready to move in, get married, run to the chapel type of energy, and live happily ever after and have a happy life, right? So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do want to book a reading with me, lizzytaro 1010 at gmail.com. If you guys have any other questions or want to do spell work with me, check out the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.